close my eyes and colors fly there's no hiding from your grace i can't deny your heart for mine and it's unrelenting chase i was on the edge of deception caught up in my own hesitation until you
blessed son, brothers and sisters in Christ, I greeted you blessed kasi po makasama po namin kayo ngayong linggo, eh biyaya na po yun. Tama po ba? So can I invite you all to stand up please? Sama-sama po tayong magpuri at magpasalamat sa Diyos na mabuti, Diyos na mapagpatawad, Diyos na mapagmahal. Amen? Sing with us, please. I am in free, and I can't stop singing. 
Brothers and sisters, may tanong ako sa inyo. Are you stressed? Oh, for sure. Oh, diba ang daming stress sa buhay? Meron sa trabaho, sa pamilya, mismong asawa, minsan stress din, or anak. May five-year-old daughter ako, super kulit, na stress talaga din ako. And or sa, sa maraming areas ng buhay, maraming stress. Pero pang, mga brothers and sisters, regardless of whatever makes us stress, whether in work, whether at home, in school, yung mga estudyante, know that God is with you. Amen? Amen. Palakpakatan natin ng Diyos. God is with us. He promised it. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will be with you till the end of times. Brothers and sisters, I invite you to open up your heart to God. Pour out everything. Alam niya lahat. Alam niya lahat ng nasa puso mo at nasa isip mo. Walang nalilihim sa Diyos. Just surrender to Him. Let's bow down in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father in heaven, thank you. Thank you for the gift of life. Lord, yung buhay, buhay lang kami, enough na para mag-celebrate. And lahat ng idadagdag mo sa buhay namin, oh God, biyaya itong galing sa'yo. We just want, Lord, our prayer is to seek for your kingdom and your righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto us. We thank you for what you're going to do in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. There's a grace when the heart is on fire. Another way when the walls are closing in. When I look at the space between where I used to be and this reckoning. Another in the fire, standing next to me. There's another in the waters, holding back the sea. Should I never need me, my days? How I've been set free. This across the
us for you who began a good work in us will be faithful to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus there is no one but the name that is Jesus he who wants to sell us and will be through it all so come on me in the space between all the things and sin and this way I know I will never be our helper Holy Spirit we open our lives to you we want fresh anointing we want you in our lives we need you that's why we came here to have a personal encounter with you I 
beginnings, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise God. Meron po ba tayong na miss? Let's call to the stage our beloved fist builder, Brother James Nicolas, fresh from Australia. And how many of you are happy to be here today? Can I see a raise of hand? And how many of you are happy to see me today? Yeah, God is good. I'm happy to see you as well. Hindi ko na tatanungin kung na-miss niyo ako. Dahil alam ko naman, sinigurado ko kasi na hindi niyo ako mamimiss. Ha? Dahil ng dalawang linggo, pinadala ko rito yung mga kaidarang kong preacher. <laughs> Pwede ba palakpakan natin si Brother Mike Pinas and Brother John Salem. Were you blessed with their preaching? Yes, God is good. You know, I, we, we arrived last Wednesday. We went to Australia for 10 days, mate. <laughs> And natutunan ko lang doon, mate lang, you know? <laughs> Might pala might. We were arrived last Wednesday. At alam niya, nung dumating kami doon, sabi ko, parang wala naman ako masyadong nakita ang kakaiba. Kasi doon, katulad natin, every Sunday, we, we have this worship gathering. And ganun din yung ginawa doon. They have worship. Sabi ko, hindi naman masyadong malayo yung, yung worship experience. Kasi sabi ko, halos magaling. Kasi galing na natin yung mga worship team natin. Halos kasing galing na yung worship team doon. Ang angat lang nila, medyo may buhok yung ibang worship leader doon. No? <laughs> Pero sabi ko, hindi, hindi nagkakalayo eh. And also the preaching. Nung nag-preach na yung mga pastors, sabi ko doon kay Bo, binibiro ko kasi kasama namin si Bo. Sabi ko, Bo, mas magaling ka pa doon sa ano eh. Sa senior pastor nila. Si Bo naman, tuwi ko talaga yung ganyan, mapagbiro ka. Pero sabi ko, hindi, hindi talagang mas 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 nagagalingan ako sa iyo. Tapos nung nando na kami, hindi ko maintindihan kung bakit stress ako. Na supposedly wala, wala dapat akong stress, tama ba? Bakit kasi pahinga ako, hindi ako gagawa ng to, mapupunta lang ako doon sa conference, makikinig ng to, tapos kakain, yung ganoon, pasyal-pasyal, yung, yung walang stress. Pero na, ang feeling ko talaga stress na stress ako. And you know what I've realized? Nito lang pag-uwi ko, hindi ko lang na-realize ba't ako na-stress. Kasi may na-miss ako. Na-miss ko kayo. Na-miss ko kayo. Yung pala yung wala doon. Yung pamilya dito sa Peace Out Mall. That's why this morning, allow me to preach my heart out yung gusto ng Diyos na sabihin sa inyo ngayong umagang ito. Are you ready? Sige, yung mga yung mga katabi mo, sabihin mo, ready ka na ba? Ready. If you're ready, let's pray our favorite prayer here in the feast. Isa pa to sa mga na-miss ko, ha, na wala doon. The declaration of our faith and abundance. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together, today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I'm God's servant. I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Thy word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. We're still in our burn series and this morning I'll be talking about burn up. Sabi nyo nga, burn up. In the series, we want to preach to you the three causes of burnout. In talk number one, ito yung first root cause. Expecting from stuff what only God can provide. Do you remember that? 
na yung thirst natin ay hindi kayang isatisfy ng mundo. Only God can satisfy it. And last Sunday, this is the second root cause of our burnout. We want to control what we cannot control. Remember the preaching of Brother Mike? Diba? Yung si Jacob battling with, with God. And this morning, I'll be preaching to you the last root cause of burnout. Being happy only with the extraordinary. Can you say that? Extraordinary. Yung minsan kaya tayo na burnout kasi we're looking for extraordinary things happening in our lives. And one guy in the Old Testament who did extraordinary thing is Elijah. See, Elijah, he, he's the guy who stood between Jesus and, or beside Jesus and Moses in the transfiguration, in the New Testament. Do you know that story? Nandun siya, kasama siya dyan. He is one of the great prophets in the Old Testament. In fact, he challenged 450 prophets of Baal and he won in that battle. And, you know, whenever I read the scripture, lalo na mga stories sa, sa Old Testament, I love reading them. You know why? Because it represents to us people we can relate to. Yung pag binasa mo yung story nila, masasabi, uy, parang ganyan ako ah. Uy, parang ganyan yung nangyari sa buhay ko. Katulad ni Elijah who is a superhero in the Old Testament but he suffered depression. Tignan natin in 1 King chapter 19 verse 3 to 4 and it says here Elijah was afraid and ran for his life when he came to Beersheba in Judah. He left his servant there while he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness. Sino sa inyo naka, nakaka-relate kay Elijah Ano sabi niya? Ito yung sabi niya. He came to a broom bush, sat down under it, and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, Lord, he said. Take my life. I'm no better than my ancestors. Panalangin niya, kunin mo na ako. Hindi ko na kaya to. Nakarelate ba kayo? Sino sa inyo nakarelate? Yung, you feel so depressed. Ano ba yung depressed? Sa Tagalog, yung pare, the press. <laughs> Natutunan ko rin sa Australia yan. <laughs> yung yung nagde-depress ka, kasi sabi ng doktor sa'yo kahapon, you have one week to live, eh last week ka pa niya hinahanap. Yung frustrated ka, kasi yung boyfriend mo, bigla na lang nawala na parang bula. Yung akala mo, siya yung soulmate mo, yung pala, ligaw na kaluluwa lang. O kaya, you feel disappointed kasi pasado ka dun sa home-based interview and you're so looking forward to it kasi ang ganda ng packages, yung, yung walang traffic, work at home ka, yung ganyan. Tapos, only to find out ang opening lang, home-based embalsamador. <laughs> and the opening, Straight. I'm just kidding. Pero, but I really thank God for the Bible. Kasi the Bible doesn't cover up those weaknesses in the people here. Kahit mga propeta pa sila. Now, bakit ko nasabi yan? Two reasons. Number one, because if a holy person like Elijah who suffered depression, and I'm suffering depression too, then it means I'm okay. Okay lang ako. Bakit? Kasi nga eh, prophet na to, number one prophet eh. And here's the second reason. At ito yung mas importante. If a guy like Elijah, who can get out of depression, then it means that I too can get out of any depression. Tanong nyo ako Bakit? Mas malakas pa. Bakit, Brother James? Because the God who gave hope to Elijah is the same God who's giving hope to you this morning and He tells you, you can get out of any depression in your life. Amen. Let's pray. Can you place your hand over your heart? I'm going to be this prayer after me. Father, this morning, I pray that you speak to my situation. 
that you speak to my heart that I may hear you and have the courage to face any battles and the depressing moments that I am going through. Speak to me today and I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thy word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. Let's give God a big hand. Praise Him. You can sit down now. And as you sit down, tell the person beside you, God will speak to you today. Can we give a big hand also to our worship team and to our worship leaders, Brother Yo and Sister Louisa? I would like to welcome our first timer. Do we have first timer? Yung ay lang po nakapunta sa Peace Out Mall. Meron ba? Ayan. Kung bago kayo, taas na lang po inyong kamay. Ayan. Welcome. Pag malapit kayo sa kanila, pakibati nyo. Sabihin nyo, welcome. This is your home now. At the end of our gathering, we would like to invite you to please go to that place. We have something for you. Elijah was afraid. Actually, if you look at the story, Elijah felt hopeless. Kasi pag tinignan mo yung 1 King 19 verse 4, ang sabi niya, I have had enough, Lord. Take my life. I'm not better than my ancestors. Parang hopeless na, di ba? Bakit? Kasi, take my life. Kunin mo na yung buhay ko. Now, here's the question. What caused Elijah's hopelessness? Bakit kaya? Now, balikan natin yung earlier verse. Kasi yung binasa natin verse 4. Balikan natin yung verse 1 and 2. And it says here, Now, Ahab, Ahab is the king of Israel during that time, told Jezebel, the queen, everything Elijah had done and how he had killed all the prophets with the sword. So Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah to say, May the gods deal with me if it ever so severely, if by this time tomorrow, I do not make your life like that of one of them. Nagbanta si Jezebel na ano yun, na pag bukas buhay ka pa, sumpain na ako ng Diyos. Parang ganun yung sinasabi ni Jezebel. Alam niyo, nung nabasa ko to, when I was still single, sabi ko parang, I find the story bizarre. Yung parang nakakagulat. Wow. Bakit? Hindi alam, may nagsasalita dito eh. Shh. Shh. <laughs> may pakibawasan mo nga yung narinig ko yung ingay dito. JR? JR? Saan ka man naroon, JR? Pakisabi, paki. Malabas yung ingay dito. Nung nabasa ko to nung single ako, sabi ko parang, I find it bizarre. Bakit? Kasi natakot si Elijah doon sa threat ng babae. Nakakatakot ba ang threat ng babae? Question. Binata ka, terineten ka ng babae, matatakot ka ba? Hindi masyado, tama? Bakit? Kasi mas malakas ka sa babae. Yes? hindi ka masyado matatakot. Bakit babae yun? Unless yung mag- mag-threat sa'yo, malaki katawan, lalaki, macho, nakakatakot yun. Pero pag babae, hindi ka masyado matitreten. Pero nung nagkamisis na ako, naintindihan ko si Elijah. Naintindihan ko yung takot na Elijah sa galit ng babae. Mga husband, tas nga kamay, nakaka-relate ba kayo? Diba? Nakakatakot pag nag Kasi yun nga lang, yun nga lang may conflict kayo, hindi mo na maintindihan kung saan kalalagay. Tama? Yung tinanong may asamuhan, may problema ba? Tapos ang sagot sa'yo, wala. Kala mo, wala talaga, no? Pero hindi mo alam, it means may problema. At ikaw yun. <laughs> Di ba? Han! Okay lang ba makipag-inuman kay kumpare? Matagal na kami din nagkikita. Ano sagot? Ikaw bahala. Kala mo, o, kala mo okay, di ba? Kasi bahala ka, pero hindi mo alam. Anong sabi niya? Malaki ka na. 
Dapat alam mo na na ang sagot dyan, hindi. Tinanong mo, ha? Okay ka lang? Tapos ang sagot sa'yo, okay lang. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Hina ng kukutin mo. Kailangan pa bang i-memorize yan? At ito yung mas nakakatakot. Pag sinabi niyang, we need to talk. Meaning, she will talk and you should shut up. <laughs> diba? Sa so, doon palag natatakot ka din, lalo na pag trineten ka. But seriously, friends, it's mind-boggling why Elijah was scared of the threat of Jezebel. You know why? Si Elijah, his name in Hebrew is Eliyahu. Sabi nyo nga Eliyahu. Meaning, my God is Yahweh. My God is Yahweh. And if you look at his life, you will see that Yahweh is really his God. And a lot of great things did in his life by, by, by Yahweh. Like, alimbawa, previous chapter of this story, makikita natin na si Elijah, he's the only one living prophet. Kasi si Ahab, yung hari, pinagpapatay nila yung mga prophets ni Yahweh. And he is a bad king. That's why God sent him to Israel to replace the king. Pagdating niya doon, he challenged the prophets of Baal, yung prophets ni Ahab. So, this, about 450 of them. At ang ginawa ni Elijah, sabi niya, tignan natin kung sino yung Diyos, na ta- totoo, yung t- buhay na Diyos, yung Diyos niyo ba, o yung Diyos ko. Tignan natin. And let the people of, of Israel judge us. Kung sino yung Diyos na buhay, at yung Diyos na peke, yung Diyos na peke, yung mga propeta niya, yun patayin. Kung ang Diyos ko ay peking Diyos, patayin niyo ako. After this battle, after this competition. So, ang ginawa nila, sabi niya rin sa 450, 450 prophets, sabi niya, uh, what we're going to do is this, you, we get a meat, and then we will offer it to, to our gods. Then, gagawin lang natin, we're going to pray down fire in this offering. So, ganun ang ginawa. So, yung 450, nag, nagtipon-tipon sila, and they have this offering in front of them, the meat, and they pray to Baal for fire to come down to the offering. Maghapon, walang nangyari. Si Elijah, medyo mayabang si Elijah. So si Elijah, sabi niya, um, pwede bang pakibasa ng tubig itong, itong meat? Pakibasa ng tubig. Tapos hindi pa na kontento. Sabi niya, pakibasa niyo nga yung paligid, yung lupa. Pakibasa. Binasa. And you know what happened? He prayed to Yahweh. And what happened? Fire fell down to the offering. At ito yung nangyari. The people of Israel, they killed the false prophets. 450 of them. Friends, kaya nakakagulat yung story na matakot ka o matakot si Elijah dun sa threat ni Jezebel. And here's what I've realized. Minsan tayong mga Kristiyano, para tayong si Elijah. Tama ba? We believe that Christ is in us, that's why we are not fearless, but we're faithful. We're full of faith. Tama? Nananampata tayo, tayo sa Diyos. And sometimes when we're facing problems, when we're facing battles, ito yung sinasabi natin, you know, that, that the one who is in us is greater the, than the one who is in the world. And we can see that in 1 John 4. And also, we always say this, that I walk by faith, not by sight. Kaya pag dumadaan ka sa, pag, sa pagsubok, pag kristyano ka, wala masyadong problema. Hindi ka basta-bastang iginugu po. Yes? And for us, faith is not the absence of fear, but the presence of trust in a greater God. Yes? Nagtitiwala ka na, oh, makapangyari ng Diyos. Pero katulad ni Elijah, sometimes you don't know you're already burning out. Hindi mo alam, stress ka na pala. And one trigger can cause your hopelessness. Halimbawa, bigla na walang ka ng trabaho. Bigla na lang, guho na yung mundo mo. Why? Hindi mo alam, stress ka na pala. Or you've just lost someone you love. Or you got financial problem this morning. Or a family member 
left you or a partner abandoned you or someone dearly, you dearly love lost his life. Or pwede rin namang magkakaedad ka na and then ngayon nagsisimula ka ng maramdaman yung pananakit ng mga kasukasuan, yung ganun. Yung kailangan mo na ng uh, alaksan, ng ano pa ba yung mga iniinom? Ha? Eskelan. <laughs> so, yung alam mo yun, hindi naman ako dating ganito ha. Bakit ganito ang buhay? Hindi ko na kaya, Lord! Kunin mo na ako. Yung ganun. Hindi mo alam, burn out ka na pala. And friends, all this can cause hopelessness within us and can cause us to give up. Yes? And here's what another thing I've realized. Pun Twitter to, ha? Dapat i-tweet nyo ito. The strongest human courage is a limited resource. Tama? Yung no matter gaano ka katibay, no matter gaano ka katapang, no matter how determined you are, darating yung time, mapapagod ka sa laban ng buhay. Lalo na kung yung laban ay paulit-ulit. Tama? Last Monday or Tuesday, nakakita ako ng news. Sabi ko, nakakapagod na to ah. Mamamatay na naman siya. Talaga kaya this time, hindi na pa naginip. Sino sa inyong nakapanood nun? Sino pa sa inyo nanonood ng card do? Sige na, huwag na kayo mahiya. Kunti na lang. Kunti na lang. Para kunti. Alam na nung pinapanood ko, sabi ko, baka pa naginip na naman to ha. Okay, iniisip ko, sabi ko, nakakapagod na to ha. Baka naman mamaya, mamatay na siya, tapos may pangatlong kakambal na dumating. <laughs> Pag tinignan mo, di ba? Pag yung ganun katagal, parang ka, una-una, okay eh. No? Pero, pero nag, baka naman magalit yung ibang fans ni Cardo. Pero, alam mo yung sinasabi ko, yung pagpaulit-ulit yung laban sa buhay, parang you want to give up already. Doon tayo nagkakaproblema. Friends, sometimes what scares us is not that we will lose the battle. Hindi tayo doon natatakot kasi naniniwala tayo bilang mga Kristiyano na kahit matalo tayo sa dulo, panalo ka pa rin. Yes? Bakit kasi kasama mo si Kristo? Yes? But here's what scares us. Living our life in a constant battle. Yung parang lagi na lang pagsubok, lagi na lang problema. And because of this, it can create depression in us. Now this morning, I'll share with you prescription we can squeeze out from the story of Elijah that can help us continue fighting this constant battle. Ready? Prescription. Four prescriptions for hopelessness. Ilan? Four. Let's go to the first one. The first prescription is this. Feel your feelings. Sabi nyo nga. Let's continue with the story of Elijah. Elijah was afraid and ran for his life when he came to Beersheba in Judah. He left his servant there while he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness. He came to a broom bush, sat down under it, and prayed that he might die. Have I had, had, had enough, Lord? He said, take my life. Then he lay down under the bush and fell asleep. He fell asleep. Nagsabi sa Diyos, Lord, kunin mo na ako at natulog. Hindi sinabi ni Elijah, I'm the mighty prophet. Hindi ako dapat nakakaramdam ng ganito. Hindi, in the name of Jesus, get out depression. Hindi niya sinabi yun. Tanong niyo ako, bakit hindi niya sinabi? Wala pa si Jesus nun. Kaya hindi niya pa pwede sabihin. Old Testament eh. Pero hindi niya sinabi yun. Hindi niya, siguro sinabi niya, in the 
in Jesus' Father's name, get out. Kasi sigad pala. No? Pero hindi niya sinabi yun eh. Hindi. Anong ginawa niya? He just felt the feeling. He was honest to God. Sinabi niya kay Lord, Lord, di ko na kaya. Di ko na kaya. Hindi niya tinago yung sadness niya. Hindi niya tinago yung frustration niya. Hindi niya tinago yung desperation niya. Hindi niya tinago yung loneliness niya. Friends, look at me. There's nothing wrong kung ganyan yung nararamdaman mo. Walang problema. Hindi yan kasalanan. May mga kakilala ako, ganyan. Yung parang ang tingin nila, pag nakakaramdam ka ng kalungkutan, nakakaramdam ka ng depression, may kasalanan ka na agad. No. Isa lang ibig sabihin yan. Ibig sabihin yan, tao ka lang. Yes? Baka mga kamay nung katabi mo. Sabihin mo nga sa kanya, tao ka lang. Sagutin mo nga siya, eh ikaw. Kasi may mga ganyan, yung, ang tawag ko dito ay yung Christian na naka-Red Bull. Ano yung Christian na naka-Red Bull? Yung Brother James, never akong naka ng sadness, never akong naka ng frustration, never akong na-insecure because I am the son of the living God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pag ako nakarinig na ganoon, ganun, alam mo sasabihin ko, Praise the Lord, brother. Hallelujah habang lumalayo ako sa kanya. Kasi baka mamaya, zombie na siya, hindi pa niya alam. Bakit kasi hindi nakaka ramdam? Friends, if you read, or if you read Elijah's story, his depression is illogical. One chapter ago, grabe yung ginawa niya. One chapter ago, 450 prophets died. But this time, he's depressed. In fact, he can call the fire. Kasi para siyang si, ano eh, para siyang si Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange, he pray fire over, over the meat. Pwede niyang gawin kay Jezebel. He can pray fire over Jezebel para maging inihaw na isda si Jezebel. Iba yata, Pilipino story yata. Napaghalo ko lang. Pero pwede niyang gawin eh. Tama? Pero anong nangyari? Na-depress. Na-depress. Friends, emotions are never logical. Minsan, mapapansin mo yun, yung parang nanonood ka ng TV, saya-saya mo, tapos mamaya, naluluha ka na. Ang pinapanood mo naman, batibot. <laughs> Wala na yata yung batibot. Pero, Di ba alam? Emotions eh. Emotions. Alam niyo, pag-stress ako, hindi ako nakakapag-isip ng tama. In fact, I don't want to think at all. I just want to sleep. Gusto ko lang magpahinga. Have you experienced that? Gusto, lang, gusto mo lang matulog? Sino sa inyo gusto lang matulog? Sabi nung katabi mo, hindi ka stress pero tulog ka ng tulog. Huh? Which brings me to the second prescription. I think I found my favorite Bible verse. Ito yung sabi dito. All at once, an angel touched him and said, Get up and eat. He looked around and there by his head was some bread baked over hot coals and jar of water. He ate and drank and then lay down again. Sarap. <laughs> Paborito ko ng Bible verse yan, no? Eat, drink, sleep. No, eat, drink, sleep. Ganun na ginawa niya. Here's the second prescription. Feed your frame. Can you say that? You have to bless your body. You know, God allowed Elijah to sleep, eat, drink, and sleep again. Bakit? Because God knows that depression is not only psychological, but also biological. Sometimes, our spirit is tired because our body is tired. Kaya yung spirit mo, yung pananampalataya mo, bumababa. Bakit? Kasi pag-good ka. That's why you should take a break. Habakit ka. 
<laughs> Ayan. Medyo endorser ako ng KitKat. Hindi nyo ba napansin, medyo lumalaki ako because of KitKat. Hindi, ano ibig sabihin? You, you take a retreat. Pagpagod ka, you take a retreat. Gawin mo yung gusto mong gawin to refresh your, your body. Kung gusto mo, magbasa ka lang ng... Nang mag, magbasa, yun ang hilig mo din. Magbasa, gusto mo manood ng sine, manood ka ng sine. Gusto mo magsalansan ng kotse, dahil yun ang gusto mo, magsalansan ka ng kotse. No? Kung ano yung gusto mong gawin? At, you simplify your schedule. Simplify your schedule. Kung marami kang meeting, bawasan mo yung meeting mo. Marami kang ginagawang, madami kang commitment, bawasan mo yung commitment mo. Bless your body. Now, another way to bless your body is this. Let's look at what Elijah did. An angel of the Lord came back a second time and touched him and said, Get up and eat, for the journey is too much for you. So he got up and ate and drank. Strengthened by the food, he traveled 40 days and 40 nights until he reached Horeb, the mountain of God. Ano ginawa ni Elijah? Ano ginawa? He walked. Nag lakad. Friends, if you're depressed, one powerful thing that you can do is to walk. Sino sa inyo mahilig maglakad? Yung iba parang hindi kayo mahilig maglakad. Yung iba siguro iniisip nyo, sana Brother James, pwede ba itong sinihan? Lagyan natin na walk later. <laughs> Take a walk every day for at least 30 minutes. Now, hindi, hindi yung walk sa treadmill, but walk outside. And you will get this three powerful, 100% antidepressant. Ano yan? Una, sunshine. Araw. Yung araw. Mga nanay, taas kamay na mga nanay. Yung mga anak ninyo, nung pag-uwi ng bahay, anong unang ginawa ninyo? Unang araw niya sa bahay, anong ginawa ninyo? Pina-arawan. Bakit? Because we believe that sun, sunlight can heal every sickness and it can strengthen our body. Tama? Tingnan mo ngayon katabi mo. Naarawan ba yan? Ha? Tingin mo, pinaarawan. Anong nasunog? <laughs> Parang napasober. Baka naiwan. Ano? Ay pagchismisan si nanay. Yung ganun. Next, another antidepressant exercise. Exer- you can do exercise outside. And you know, it produces a feel na, feel good natural chemical called endorphins. Ang endorphins parang ano rin yan, uh, it can create the effect of morphine. Yung morphine, di ba, sinasaksak yan para hindi ka makaramdam ng, ng pain. Ganon din ang ginagawa ng endorphins. That's why you do your exercise outside. And this is the last one, oxygen. Sabi nyo nga, oxygen. Sino sa inyo naniniwala na yung oxygen makapangyarihan? Yung iba, hindi naniniwala ng mga pangyarihan. Sige, yung mga hindi nagtaas ng kamay, bakit takba nyo ngayon dalawang ilong ninyo, please? <laughs> Pero diba? Mga pangyarihan yan. And, and here's a, a fact. 90% of our energy came from or comes from oxygen. At kung gusto mong lumakas yung katawan mo, yung immune system mo, kasi yan yung food ng immune system natin, you go out and breathe in properly. Pansin niyo lahat ng parte ng katawan natin pwedeng magka-cancer. Atay, balun-balunan, pwede magka-cancer yan. Isa lang ang hindi. Ano yun? Ano-ano? Anong tenga? <laughs> Agay niya lakot eh. Puso. Nakarinig na ba kayo ng heart cancer? Wala, ano? Heart, pwedeng heart, heart attack, heart... Pero wal- walang cancer. Bakit? Kasi yung puso natin, ang daming oxygen yan, dyan dumadaan yung dugo. That's why you need to walk outside. Huwag ka mga ulit kamay ng katabi mo. Sabihin mo nga sa kanya, maglakad ka naman. So what's the first one? Feel the feeling. Second, feed the frame. And this is the third descript- prescription. Find your friends. Can you say that? You find your friends. 
Alam niyo kung anong dahilan, but si Elijah in a depress? Because he felt he was alone. Let's look at what verse 13 to 14 says. Then a voice said to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant, tore down your altars, and put your prophets to death with the sword. I am the only one. Ako nalang naiiwan dito. And now they are trying to kill me too. Nag-iisa na lang ako. Pero totoo bang nag-iisa na lang si Elijah? Let's look at what 16 and 18 said. Also, ito yung sabi ni Ni Yahweh. The Lord, God's, uh, the Lord God said to him, Go back to the way you came from and go to the desert of Damascus. When you get there, anoint Hazael king over Aram. Also anoint Jehu, son of Minishi, king over Israel. And anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat from Abel Mihola to succeed you as prophet. Jehu will put to death any who escapes the sword of Hazael, and Elisha will put to death any who escapes the sword of Jehu. Yet I reserve 7,000 in Israel, all whose knees have not bowed down to Baal, and whose mouths have not kissed him. Friends, the delusion of depression is this. It wants us to think we're alone. Yung nag-iisa ka na lang. Kaya kahit meron mga, sa paligid mo, mga taong nagmamahal sa'yo, hindi mo maramdaman yung pagmamahal. Bakit sinasabi nung depression, mag-isa ka na lang, iniwang ka na nila. Kaya kung may ganito kang sitwasyon, anong kailangan mong gawin? Huwag kang magmukmuk sa kwarto. It's okay to feel your feeling first. It's okay. But dapat meron time. Meron time na umalis ka sa kwarto, maglakad, pumunta sa kaibigan. Mga tunay na kaibigan. Huwag doon sa mga kaibigan, huwag, huwag doon sa kung sinong kaibigan lang. Kasi meron ka mga kaibigan na pupuntahan, sabi mo, alam mo, hindi ko gusto nangyayari sa mundo, hindi ko na gusto nangyayari sa buhay ko, maigi pa, mamatay na ako. Ang sasabihin niya, ay, totoo yan. Huwag <laughs> ka pupunta doon. Mas madadali ang buhay mo. Nako, iniwan ako ng boyfriend ko, pare-parehas siya mga lalaki. Ay, oo, oo totoo yan. Kaya huwag ka na mag-boyfriend. Negative. You go to those people you know who loves you and who can guide you to God. Yes? Last. What's the first one? Feel the feeling. Feel the frame. Find your friends. And this is the last one. Last prescription. Follow your faith. Sabi nyo nga. Follow your faith. Friends, it's okay to feel your feeling but follow your faith. Sabi nung feeling mo, mag up ka na? But faith says, do not give up. Move up. Feeling says, you're a nobody. But faith says, you're somebody. Feeling may, might say, your problems are big. But your faith says, your God is bigger than any problems that you can have in this world. Yes? That's why you should follow your faith. You feel your feeling, but follow your faith. Ganyan yung ginawa ni Elijah. Si Elijah, let's go back to the earlier verse in verse 8. Ganyan yung ginawa niya. Sabi doon, yung angel, pinakain siya, allowed him to sleep again. And then the angel came back and woke him up. Sabi niya, oy, tayo ka na. Lakad ka na. At ito yung nangyari. As strengthened by the food, he traveled 40 days and 40 nights until he reached Horeb, the mountain of God. 40 days and 40 nights. 
Sino sa inyong pwede maglakad ng 40 days and 40 nights? Sino gustong gayahin si Elijah? Wala, ayaw, no? Ayaw niya. Si Elijah, alam niyo, if you look, if you see that in the scripture, pag sinabing 40 days and 40 nights, it doesn't mean time. Hindi, hindi, uh, hindi araw, hindi, hindi talagang 40 days, hindi yon. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, it's a long time. Pag 40 days. Kaya pag sinabing 40 years in the wilderness, ay, ang haba nun. It's, it's too long. Now, ini-imagine ko, si Elijah, when, when the angel woke him up, si Elijah bumangon, he followed this faith kahit hindi pa siya nakaka-recover sa depression. Yung, yung pagbangon niya, lumakad siya, pero yung bit-bit yung isang paa. Bakit? Kasi depressed pa rin siya eh. Yung parang zombie na maglakad, yung ganun. Hindi pa siya nakaka-get over. Na bakit ko nasabing hindi pa siya nakaka-get over? Let's go, let's go to 9 and 10 verse. And the word of the Lord came to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant. Do, nagre-reklamo pa siya. So, ibig sabihin, nung binangon siya nung anghel, nagpunta siya, naglakad, depressed pa siya. Kasi pagdating niya ron sa mountain, kinausap siya ng Diyos, at tinanong siya, bakit ka nandito? At ang sabi niya, kasi nag-iisa na ako at gusto nila akong patayin. Ibig sabihin, depressed pa rin siya. Nagre-reklamo. That's why I... I believe that this time he was still depressed. But the beauty is he followed his faith. May napifil ako? But I will follow what God says. I will follow what my faith says. But I don't want you to focus too much on the answer of Elijah. I want you to focus on the question of God. Ang ganda ng tanong ni Lord. Eh. What are you doing here, Elijah? What are you doing here? Sa akin, dalawa yung meaning nung tanong na yan. Nung when, when I was reading this and asking the Lord to speak to my heart, two things, two meaning of the question, why are you here? Number one, habi ko, siguro tinatanong ni ni God si Elijah, bakit ka nadidepress? Kakapanalo mo lang? Assess your situation. You just won the battle. Ba't ka nadidepress? That's the first thing that came into my mind. And here's the second thing. Parang tinatanong siya ng Diyos, bakit ka nandito sa mundong ito? Why are you here in this world? Now, anong gusto kong sabihin? Friends, hopelessness wants you to be stuck. Gusto niya, nandiyan ka lang, you will be stuck in that depression, in your, in that depressing moment of your life. But hope wants you to walk by faith, putting your one foot over the other, kahit gaano kahaba, kahit gaano katagal, kahit pagod ka pa, kahit wala ka ng lakas, but He is telling you to move your feet in faith. Hopelessness wants you to focus on your past, but hope wants you to focus on your future. Friends, tingin kayo sa akin. When you focus on your problems, you will feel burnt out. Tama? Pag nakikita mo yung problema mo, nakapokus ka sa problema mo, you will feel burnt out. But when you focus on your purpose, you will feel burnt up. You will feel burnt up. Bakit? May purpose ako sa mundong ito? May kaya pa akong gawin. Yes? Baka mga ulit kami nakatabi mo, yug-yugin mo. Sabihin mo sa kanya, focus on your purpose. At ito yung mangyayari. If you focus on your purpose and not on your pl- problem, and you follow your faith, ito yung mga pwede mangyayari. You will get out of the depression. You will get out of the depression. Si Elijah, when he followed his faith, he reached the Mount mountain of God, Horeb, he reached it. Kaya ito yung nangyari eh. in 11.13, sabi dito, the Lord said, go out 
and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. And when Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mountain of the cave. When he followed his faith, he went out of the depression. And not only that, you will see, like Elijah, the presence of God. Anybody to the stand? After the conference, in Australia, Hillsong Conference is Tuesday to Friday. And Sunday, nagpasyal kami nila Jinky. Alam niyo si Jinky, tuwantawa ko dyan kasi every time we will go to a country, hanapin niya yung mga famous na lugar. Famous. And one of the famous na gusto niyang puntahan na lugar is yung Blue Mountain. Nakasakay kami sa train and I'm watching kasi ang travel mula doon sa Sydney hanggang doon sa parang probinsya kasi ito eh yung Blue Mountain ma one and a half hour yung biyahe via train so ganun katagal so nanonood ako ng, ng Facebook kala, kala nyo ba hindi nyo ako kasama kasama nyo ako nanonood kaya lang nung time na yun hindi ko maintindihan but walang Facebook uh, streaming nakaproblema yata yung cellphone. So naputol yung connection, hindi, hindi na ako nakapanood. So I feel I feel parang Lord, gusto ko gusto ko mapakinggan yung talk. Nung gusto ko sana makasama man man lang sila sa spirit to. So kaya medyo parang alam mo yun, I, I felt down. So anyway, we landed doon sa kung saan kami pupunta. Alam niyo paglabas ko doon sa train, ang lamig. Ang lamig, yung nakatermal na ako sa loob, tapos meron akong ganitong long sleeve na makapal, tapos may jacket ako, yung, tapos may pa-cover ako sa mukha. Yung makikita mo na lang yung mata. Ganun na lang. Bakit? Ang lamig yung paglabas namin. So, ginaw na ginaw ako. And hindi ako sanay kasi sa lamig eh. Sanay ako sa init sa Pilipinas. So, kaya pagdating doon sa gufo, ang lamig. So, punta kami, sakay kami doon sa uh, Una namin nasakyan, yung isang parang roller coaster, pero yung mga 52 degrees drop. Yung naka-experience sa akin na ganun, yung babagsak, tapos nakaganyan ka, 52 degrees, palalim. Tapos ang, ang layo nung binabaan namin, para lang makita, ito, hindi yan, hindi, mga tao yan eh. <laughs> hindi yan, yung isa pa. Yung isa pa. Bale, yan. Yan kita namin, Ang tawag nila dyan, three sisters. Tatlong magkakapatid. So, nakita namin, ang ganda. Sabi ko, ang ganda dito. Sabi ko, thank you, Mama. We experienced this. Tapos, sakay kami sa cable car. Cable car naman. Sabi ni Jinky, punta naman tayo dun sa Katumba Falls. Ayan, Katumba Falls. Ito naman yan. Next slide. Ayan, Katumba Falls. Kita nyo kung gaano kalamig. Eh, tsura ko. Katumba Falls. So, ikot-ikot kami doon. Eh, malayo din eh. Malayo din ang lakaran. Siguro mga 30 minutes mula doon sa pinanggalingan namin. So, yung mga halos dalawang oras, ubos doon sa paglalakad pa lang. So, kala ko tapos na kami. Hindi pa pala. Sabi ni Jinky, Papa, punta naman tayo sa Wentworth Falls. Sabi ko, anong difference niyan? Falls din yan. Pero sabi niya, Papa, punta tayo kasi yun yung maganda talaga dito. Hindi pa ito. So, ako naman, dahil siyempre, mahal ko yung asawa ko, gusto kong pagbigyan. Total, libre din naman niya yung punta namin doon. Sabi, ay kasi punta na tayo. So, punta kami. So, nag ako. ako. Ah, sorry, hindi pala ways. Uber. Uber. So, nilagay ko, went worth falls. Ang pagkakamali ko, nailagay ko, went worth falls park. So, dumating si Uber. Nagbahay kami about 20 minutes. Drenap kami doon sa lugar. Akala ko yung falls. Alam niyo kung sa kami na-drop? Dito. Next slide. Hindi pa. 
Iba ba? Balik, balik. Wala. Sabi ko sa inyo, kopihin niya. So anyway, <laughs> nagpun- ano nyo sa kami dinala? Lawa. Lawa. Sabi ko, paano naging pulse to? Eh, lawa. Pagdating namin doon, kung ano yung gin- ginaw doon sa train station dito, parang feeling ko doble yung ginaw. Yung talagang, maghahanap ka ng batong malaki para magtahago ka doon sa hangin. Yung pag, uh, uh, nag, ano yung hangin, gumanon? Kasi nakas ng hangin eh. Talagang, magtatago ka. Kaya pala yung Uber driver namin, nandun lang sa, nung binaba kami, hindi agad umalis. Naisip siguro niya, baka nagkamali itong mga turistang ito. Kasi nandun lang siya nag-aantay. Kami naman, sabi ko kay Lajin, kilakad tayo, nandun lang yan, nandun. 20 minutes na, wala pa. Tapos sabi ko, mag-Uber na alan tayo kasi nung tiningnan ko, one kilometer pa yung lalakarin namin. One kilometer. Sabi ko, Uber tayo. Sabi ko, baka nag-aantay pa yung driver doon. Pag tingin ko doon sa Uber, biglang sabi, walang driver. Walang driver. Sabi ko, hindi pwedeng walang driver. Mamamatay ako sa ginaw dito. Ah, tawag, hanap na naman, mamaya wala na naman, walang driver talaga doon sa lugar kasi mga parang probinsya na. So, medyo frustrated na kami. Ako, kasi nakikita ko si Jinky, medyo papagod na. So, lakad lang kami. About 10 minutes, nakakita kami nung mga kainan and we had lunch doon sa isang Chinese restaurant. So, doon sa Chinese restaurant, kain kami, medyo mainit. Saka, wow, salamat. No, nakaka- so, kumain kami. Tapos, Sabi ko, mga gano'n pa kaya kalayo? Kinausap ko yung may-ari. Sabi ko, gano'n pa kalayo? Sabi ko, mate, how long is the is this polls? No? So, kasi, yun lang, alam ko, mate lang talaga na tatutunan ko sa Australia. So, tinuro niya sa amin. Sabi ko, malayo. Saka, hindi ko alam paano. Kasi mga tinuro niyang dadaanan. Sabi ko, paano natin makikita yan? But you know what happened? We're able to reach that polls. At ito yun, na, 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 nakarating kami doon sa falls. Ayan, yan yung falls. Ayan. Medyo malayo nga lang kami. Yan yung lugar. Na, ba't ko sina- kinakwento yan sa inyo? Tanong nyo ako bakit? Sayang yung binayad namin kung hindi ko isi-share sa inyong pinuntahan namin. Ito <laughs> yung dahilan. You know, after... Oh, okay lang, okay lang. Okay lang kayo mag-extend ha? After lunch, si Andrea sabi niya, Papa, kayo na lang pumunta ron sa Pauls. Kasi nung narinig niya nung kinikwento nung may-ari yung restaurant, yung lalakari namin, sabi niya, dito na lang ako, pagod na ako. Eh si Jinky, gusto niya, isama talaga si Andrea. Sabi niya, punta tayo doon as family. So medyo nakaka-prostrate. Bigla na lang, may isang may edad na babae, tumayo ang babae. Tapos lumapit. Sabi niya, are you from the Philippines? Sabi ko, yeah. Pilipino din ho ako. About 70 plus years old na babae. Sabi niya, galing ako sa Manila. And sinabi niya yung lugar niya. Tapos malapit dun sa bahay namin. So kwentuhan kami. Tapos maya-maya tumayo yung asawang lalaki. About 80 years old. Nakipagkilala, nakipagkwentuhan sa amin. And we shared story. Tapos maya-maya, sa dulo ng story namin, sabi, sabi niya, do you want us to bring you there? Sabi nung asawa. Eh, siyempre, Pilipino ka. Huwag na po. <laughs> Pero deep inside niyo, <laughs> labig-labig ko eh. eh ba? Pero, pero sabi ko, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you very much for your hospitality. Tapos kwentuhan, kwentuhan. Maya-maya, sabi ko, isip ko, sana mag, mag, mag-offer ulit. Tapos buti na lang nag-offer. Sabi niya, we would like to bring you to the falls. So dinala kami, sinakay kami sa sasakyan. Alam niyo, ang layo nga kung nilakad namin. Baka kalahati pala nung lakad, nanigas na ako doon, patay na ako. Sumakay kami, dum- dum- dumating kami doon, pagbaba namin. Sabi niya. Sabi ko, thank you very much, thank you for your hospitality. Again, if you, pag bunta ka ng Pilipinas, just look for me, ganyan. Alam mo, sabi niya, no, Hindi ka pupunta ng Pilipinas. No, we will wait for you here. Inantay kami. Sabi ko, are you sure yan? Yeah. Antay. About 30 minutes yung baba namin dun sa falls. 
paang at akyat, pagbalik namin, nandun pa rin nag-aantay yung mag-asawa. Ang pangalan nila si Kirk and si Rachel. Nag-aantay. Tapos hindi lang yan. Nung pag-akit namin, sabi ko, okay, you can drop us to the nearest train station. Alam mo, sabi niya, no. We will bring you, we will tour you around this, this area. So, tinur kami. Tapos may may, dinala pa kami dun sa bahay. Nakita niya siguro, nanginginig na ako. Binigyan kami ng coffee. So, nag-coffee pa kami dun. Tapos, eto na. Sabi niya, uh, wait, um, after 10 minutes, we'll leave. Sabi ko, why? Kasi yung train pala dun, one hour yung pagitan. One hour. Pag na-miss mo yung train, isang oras ka mag Kaya sabi niya, we will make sure that you will ride the train. So, hinatid niya kami just the right time na darating yung train. Tapos, nung nandun na kami, so, akapan, pasalamatan, pagdating namin, dun sa, nung nandun na kami sa platform waiting for the train, alam mo yung mag-asawa, nag-aantay pa din. Nag-aantay, bago kami makasakay. Hanggang sa nung nakasakay na kami. And we bid goodbye. And we're thankful that God sent two angels in our way. Now, why am I sharing this to you? Friends, listen to me. God is in your ordinary. God is in your ordinary. Sometimes, niisip natin, God is in the extraordinary. Kaya pag merong hindi nangyaring extraordinary sa buhay natin, we feel that God is not with us. But God is in our ordinary. Now, if you, if you go back to the scripture, you will see, bakit kaya si God did not show himself to Elijah through the, through the song of or through, through this guys na yung kanta nila, yung Do you remember the 21st night, September? but kaya hindi siya doon nagpakita? Earth, wind, and fire. <laughs> Balikan nga natin, baka hindi kayo maniwala eh. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. Wala siya dun. But rather, God showed Himself through the commercial whisper. <laughs> whisper. Tingnan nga natin susunod na verse. Baka hindi siya maliwala. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. Bakit kaya? Bakit hindi sa earth, wind, and fire? Bakit sa whisper? Importante ito ha. Pakinggan ninyo ito. Ang ganda sa ng ending ni Elijah, that God showed Himself through the fire. Yung grabe yung fire bumagsak sa lupa just to show to Him that He is there, that God is there. At ang bilis na, tanggal na yung depression ni Elijah. Yes? Pwede sana, ang ganda ng ending, kung ginawa ng Diyos, nag-earthquake, nag- na malakas, and boo, tapos, si, si Elijah, tanggal ang depression. Bakit? Kasi, na-experience ang Diyos. Ang ganda rin, kung natapos yung story na malakas na hangin, tapos, tanggal ang depression ni Elijah. Bakit? Kasi naramdaman niya yung presensya ng Diyos. Pero bakit hindi doon nagpakita ang Diyos? Bakit? Bakit sa whisper. Hindi nagpakita ang Diyos sa earthquake. Hindi nagpakita ang Diyos sa malakas na akin. Hindi nagpakita ang Diyos sa supernatural things. nagpakita ang Diyos sa bulong. You know why? Ask me why. Dapat bulong din. Why? Ito yung sinasabi ng Diyos sa atin. I whisper 
because I'm close to you. Katabi mo lang ako. The enemy can shout lies to you. He can tell you you cannot get out of the depression. You cannot get out of that problem. The enemy can lie. But God whisper and He's telling you, I'm here with you. That's why if you are, you have problems right now, you're facing overwhelming problems today. If your situations in your life is depressing or you are in a battle right now, I do not know what you're going through. May I encourage you with the word of God for you this morning. Ito yung gusto niya sabihin sa'yo. Kung may pinagdadaanan ka ngayong umagang ito, kung merong battles kang pinagdadaanan, ito yung gusto niya sabihin, makinig ka, no matter how strong your battles are, no matter how long your battles will be, you need to stand in courage because I am in the battle too. I'm in the battle with you. Bow down your heads, close your eyes. If there's a comfortable posture to I want you to raise your hands and believe that God is in the battle with you. Let the Holy Spirit complete this message for you today. That you will go home with courage. That you will go home with faith. That you will follow your faith and get out of your depression. those hands raised there is no one to name but the name that is Jesus he was and still is and will be through it all so come on me in the space between all the things and see and this reckoning I know As you face this battle, God, do the battle with you. Father, we surrender to you all our prayers, all our dreams, and these situations, oh God, that we cannot understand. This depressing situation that we have, we surrender them to you right now. 
We cannot explain, oh God, why we're experiencing this. But only one thing is sure, that you love us and that you do the battle with us. And we claim this. We pray this. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Got a big hand once again. Let's visit it for a moment and let's listen to some of our quick announcements. Brothers and sisters, do you want to experience the local version of Hillsong Conference, the one that Brother James attended in Australia? Then come to Kerygma Conference entitled Brave. Let's watch the video. This is bravery. Fear keeps us stuck, but God whispers freedom. Fear shouts doubt, God sings peace. Fear taunts you are alone. God declares, my name is Emmanuel, and I am always with you. In the midst of all those fears, God chants, you are not crippled, you are not weak. You are not fearful, you are not intimidated, you are not nothing. Brother Yo, where? Outside the bank? <laughs> anyway, um, okay, the ticket it costs 2000 so mag invest po tayo for our uh, spiritual nourishment. Let's attend. That is for early bird, ha, yung 2000 May free t shirt daw po. 
Yan. Agahan po nating bumili. Okay. Next, Outreach by Singles Ministry. Sino po mga singles in the house? You, yon. Support po natin yung kanilang mission. They have, uh, yan, a bridge to purpose, a singles ministry outreach activity for the children and at Kids with Purpose International happening on August 3, 2019, Saturday. So, we appeal to your hearts. Please uh, donate for, uh, ito po yung mga donation kailangan, school supplies, toiletries, laundry soap, condiments, cooking supplies. So, pakidala nyo na lang po yung donations nyo on Sunday. You may approach po si Nini Dizon, Bench, Presto, Mavic, Asuncion. So, kailangan po nila yung tulong nyo. Please help their uh, outreach um, mission. Next, youth in the house. Pwede pong sumigaw? Yon ang dami. Alam nyo po, uh, the Catholic Church is celebrating Year of the Youth. So, please come next week. Doon po sa kabila, meron pong youth high. So, we need this um, youth na maano eh, ma- you know, ma, 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 mabigyan sila ng proper nourishment. So, please, yung mga parents, bring your youth, your children, para maka-attend po next week sa Youth High. Ta- okay po ba? Yes. Okay. So, that's it. Thank you, Luisa. Thank you. Now, since wala ako last two weeks ago, uh, hindi ko na-pray yung mga may birthday ngayong September. So allow me to pray again for those who are celeb- sorry. <laughs> September na eh. Kasi talaga pag medyo nalamigan yung utak. <laughs> birthday ng July, no? July. Pwede ba ba inbitahan yung mga may birthday ng July so that I can pray for you. Yeah. Birthday and anniversary as well. Yeah. And I would like to call in also one of our council leader who I celebrated her birthday a few days ago para siya yung representative and we can also honor her for her service. She is the head of our finance ministry. Sister Jing. Yeah, birthday po niya. Can we sing happy birthday to Sister Jing and others who are celebrating their birthday? Happy birthday to you Happy birthday for the lives of our friends. We pray, O oh God, that you outpour to them choices, blessings, and we pray for more years of blessed life, Lord, to our friends. And you use their life so that more people will experience your love to them. You know their hearts desires. I pray that as they celebrate their birthday this month, you will pour out to them what you want them to receive. And all this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. amen and amen. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hindi nyo ba napansin, maliit lang yung cake niya? Kasi finance. <laughs> Sabi niya, Brother James, huwag na akong mag-cake. Sabi niya, kasi medyo hindi, hindi okay ang uh, ating love offering this past few weeks. So kaya maliit na lang yung binili niyang cake. Ano? Kasi pag ibang mga, napansin nyo dito, pag yung mga ibang council, malalaki yung cake, siya lang yung maliit. So talagang kanya lang finance matipid. This morning, or the first session, we have 241, and this session, we have 735. 976. 
Let's just all stand and allow me to pray for your giving. Again, I exhort you to please continue supporting our feast because this past weeks medyo mababa yung ating love offering and alam niyo naman na dito lang nanggagaling yung ating pambayad sa mga operations natin. Okay? Lift them up. Allow me to pray for you. Father, I lift up to you, my friends, as they give their tithes and offering right now. I pray that you pour out choices and blessings to them. Alam mo yung mga pinagdadaanan nila. Alam mo yung mga pagsubok nila sa buhay. I pray, Father, that this coming week, you open doors of opportunities for them. I know that whatever they will give today, actually, kahit hindi kami magbigay, ibabalik mo ito sa kanila. And siksiklikli, kahit umaapaw na pagpapala. And we pray, Father, that you bless this offering that we're about to do today. Use this for your glory. And all this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. amen and amen. Come, friends, with joy. Let's give our tithes and offering to Jesus. And see you all next Sunday.